So what is life design? For those who missed the unboxing video, here's a quick recap on what happened in February. We went to Cosway's head office to record the unboxings of the new software life design. Not gonna lie, I was really excited, I've never done this kind of thing before. So all this was back in February and we already did the unboxing of the software and we covered these features and we have it in the YouTube channel. So why am I making this video? Well, this is a video signaling that I'm gonna start making tutorials on live design and what a better time to do it with the new launch of version 4.0. So first things first, dynamic live elements. So back in the day when we changed a site layout, it was time consuming to assess all the impact on the civil engineering elements like drainage and earth. Now this was improved with introduction of CAD software as a time to do the changes minimized, but we still had to go through the process of assessing. Now with dynamic elements, what this helps us is to quickly see the changes of the civil engineering elements we'll have in the project. For example, if we want to add new vertexes in the ground profile, or if we want to shift the road 10 meters to the left, or if we want to lift the road up, or if we want to increase the drainage area of a network, or if we want to design a pond and see how much cut and fill it's going to cause. So many ifs, and this is just the beginning. So to keep this video short and sweet, as this is an introductory video, we're going to look at the modules of live design and what do they have to offer first ground modeling so it's pretty straightforward we right click we add our surface we select the style and we can start adding vertex and break lines to create our surface it's pretty intuitive and that's why i like it also the cut and fill is actually pretty easy now i just can compare surfaces straight away and then if i want to change the vertex elevation to get closer to balance i can do that Next on the list is the road module. Now this part is amazing because the way they set it up is so clean and easy to use. So we can have our styles, for example, if you wanna show the private road differently from the adopted, you can have carriageway templates, feature templates. You can change the vertical alignment and automatically see how the batters are gonna interact with the ground. You don't have to rebuild models over and over again. And the best part, you can move roads around and you can actually make it fit as you wish. So if the architect changes the drawing, no sweat, just grab the vertex and move it. So before we move on to the next bit, I want to talk about the discount code that you can get. Now in the link in the description, there is a link that will take you to the Cosmos page. And if you fill the information, get in touch, you are entitled to 5% discount. Now this discount applies only for new customers and it's for limited time only. So get your live design license on. Next is drainage. Now we need to take our time and appreciate what they've done here. They've basically broken down every flow part into live design so we can be able to model uh, our drainage as we go in the CAD environment. And then all we have to do is just right click and just edit in flow so we can get our results analysis and send it back. And then we can get over land flow analysis if there is any flooding, if you model it correctly. And yeah, it's perfect. It's what we needed also we cannot ignore the fact that everything is automatically updated so if we move the roads to the left the manholes are associated with the roads and they move as well if we move the road up in the vertical way they move as well we need to appreciate all this stuff because they are time saving things like they will save a lot of resourcing and money for the clients at the end of the day also we cannot forget that everything is automatically updated if we add new manholes manhole schedules long sections get automatically updated which again is time saving i cannot stress it enough next we have the overland flow analysis now the overland flow analysis is pretty amazing because all we have to do is just right click add the area we select our area and then all we have to do is just right click overland flow analysis and we select of what type of analysis we need we need a fixed depth we need rainfall and if we actually brought it from flow we will see a new drop down that says flooding we select the storm and then it runs the analysis so we can do the exceedance flow analysis for the councils that they usually requested with just like few clicks now the next bit cannot be underestimated as it will easily save you 20 minutes every time you change a road because when we finished the road we had to do the white linings and road signs readjust them and put them in the right location but now because roads are dynamic therefore the white linings and road markings would be dynamic so if we move a road boom white linings and road markings move with it and this feature cannot be underestimated it's very good especially when you do 278s and 38s now i hope you enjoyed this quick introduction on causeways live design software 
and drop the subscribe and like button as I spend actually quite significant amount of time editing this video. So show your support. Also, don't forget about the 5% discount code and I'll see you in the next live design tutorial. Stay safe.